Assalamu alaikum my dear students hope you all are fine fit and healthy this is me sayada nimra from hayat school junior branch let's start our today's topic our today's topic is photosynthesis photosynthesis is a term consists of two words photo which means light and synthesis to produce the process by which green plants make their food in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll is called photosynthesis now to make food we need some ingredients so what are the ingredients these are chlorophyll sunlight water and carbon dioxide to make food now what happened during photosynthesis light energy is captured and used to convert these ingredients into oxygen and energy rich organic compound as you see the equation carbon dioxide and water which consists of six molecules convert in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll into sugars and oxygen now how does this process occur as i told you that plants use chlorophyll sunlight water and carbon dioxide to make food here you can see a diagram to show how this process occur in the first diagram you see that radiations from the sun is captured by the light capturing pigment which is present inside the leaves carbon dioxide comes from the air and it enters the leaf through tiny holes which we named stomata water and minerals absorb from the soil through the roots these all are combined and transform into oxygen and plant sugars that is glucose oxygen is liberated during this process that's why we say that plants give us fresh oxygen and sugar is transported to various parts of the plant this is also another look of photosynthesis which takes place inside the leaves now what are the steps of photosynthesis chlorophyll captures the sunlight energy the energy splits the water into hydrogen and oxygen water consists of two hydrogen and one oxygen so it splits the water into hydrogen and oxygen the oxygen is released into the air while the hydrogen is used with the carbon dioxide to make glucose the glucose is transferred to the various parts of the plant and some of them are also stored the stored sugar is called starch now what are the requirements for photosynthesis following are the requ requirements that are needed for the process of photosynthesis otherwise the photosynthesis cannot take place number 1 is chlorophyll the chlorophyll is a green substance that plants use to capture light energy from the sun it is very important and without it plant cannot use the sunlight energy to make food number 2 obviously the sunlight plants use this energy to make sugars from water and carbon dioxide because this energy splits the water molecule number 3 is water photosynthesis can only happens in a watery solution the roots of a plant absorb the water and nutrients from the soil through roots and transport it to the upwards and when the sugars are made they also transport it this sugars from the leaf to the downwards hence the sugar is transported to all the parts of the plant the carbon dioxide as i told you absorbs by the plants from the air through little holes that are called stomata and these stomata are present all over the plant mostly under the leaves finally the soil the soil provides mineral nutrients and water for the plants that are necessary during photosynthesis now what you have to do after watching this video you have to answer these questions what do we get from plants discuss the importance of plants for all living things and second one is why chlorophyll is important for photosynthesis 
what is its function and where is it present okay thank you